welcome to Psychic Medium Tony G. I am Tony G, and I am happy to be here with you today. So today I am taking calls um, on any area of life. If you want to ask about loved ones on the other side, if you want to ask about um, career, relationship, any area at all of your life. So <clears throat> in a moment, I am going to go over to the call log and take callers. Uh, I want to let you know that every Wednesday or for a few more Wednesdays, I have a show Relationship Wednesday, where we discuss um, relationship questions. What do you want to know about your relationship? So having said that, let's get started right on the call log. I'm going to go to the first caller, 775. Hey, 775, how are you Hello. today? Hi. Hi. Hi, Tony. How, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. My name is Whitney from California. I'm sorry. Can, if, if you have me on speakerphone, could you please take me off of speakerphone or put the phone to your ear? And then, I'm sorry, who are you again? Yes, yes ma'am. Thank you. Um, my name is Wendy from California, and may I ask a question, please? Sure, go right ahead. Well, thank you. Um, I purchased quite a large desk, and I think it'll fit, but I'm not 100% certain. There are two young men coming over on the 15th, um, Sean and James. Uh, I hope they treat me nice, and will the desk fit, or will I need to ship it back to Wayfair? Um, uh, um, wow, that's a different type of question. I think that if you're willing to maneuver one or two things, the desk will fit. I think that you will not have a problem with the desk. I think it will be okay. Um, again, you might have to maneuver the desk a little bit or uh try to try to i just feel like you're going to have it it will fit maybe not as perfectly as you're hoping it would okay love all right well if they, if they move my bed to the right then that would help i hope they they're oopsie i i think that call um if you're still able to hear me, I, again, I think if they maneuver one or two things, it will be able to fit um, and it will be fine. I'm going to go directly to the next caller, 814. 814, if you have me on speakerphone, please take me off. And how can I help you today? Hi, uh, this is Amy mm -hmm. and I'm calling from Pennsylvania. Hey, Amy. And I'm calling, hi, Tony, I am calling to see if you see me changing jobs. Yes. Yes, and actually I see you, um, I don't know if you're going to find something or if you're going to change in about a month and a half, but I feel like I hear that month and a half mark. So that can be when you actually find it or when you change. I feel like you're going to go into a much better position. Not even, uh, I don't, um, yeah, just a much better position in about a month to a month and a half. And I feel like you're really going to like this position. It's going to be a much better uh, fit for you. Now, sometimes when they say position, it can be with the same company, but I feel like this is going to be with a new company. You might have the opportunity to stay where you are, and if they offer you, let's say you tell them you're going to leave, you found something else and you're going to leave. If they offer you a new, if they say, well, we'll give you this, if you stay, 
it's kind of like um, not, they're not, it's, it's a new like title, but everything else is the same. They're just trying to keep you. Um, I do feel like you are going to go to a new company. I feel like you're going to be happier at a new company. And I do feel like you're going to have a lot of um, uh, say so at the new place that you're at. I, ho I hope that's helpful. Is it going to be working from home now? Um. Because that's what I'm looking for to, to mainly work from home. I'm not sure if it's going to be working from home. If you are wanting to work from home, I feel like it's going to take a little bit longer. I feel like there is something coming in in a month to a month and a half that will uh, that is a new position. But a work from home position, it looks like that's approximately two months down the line. So it'll take you just a little bit longer to find that work from home position. Okay, love? Okay. Thank you so much for calling okay, in. Okay, thank you so much. You are so welcome. I'm going to go to the very next caller, number 270. Please tell me your name and where you're calling from. If you have me on speaker, oh. please take me off. Hello, this is Joyce from Kentucky. Hey, Joyce, how are you today? <laughs> I'm pretty good, how are you? I'm doing excellent, thank you so much. Thanks for calling in. How can I help you today? As usual, I would love to connect with my grandmother and the neighbor. You know what? I should have just said your grandma and your grandpa are here already. As soon, <laughs> it's so funny. As soon as you get on the phone with me, they're like in front of me in my face, like, you need to tell her. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Um, so the first thing they want to say to you is, I, well, the first thing they want, they're saying, like, you need to tell her she needs to get um, like her butt in gear. You've been procrastinating. You've been seriously procrastinating. And it's time for you to take steps. You don't you know, you don't. This is the thing. Nobody has to do everything all at once. Right. No, Nobody has to do everything all at once. It's like. Sometimes we let things go and then we think, oh, I have to do, like, let's just say cleaning the house. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. I don't know. <laughs> but we let things go and then all of a sudden we're like, oh my gosh, I need to clean my house. Well, you don't need to clean your whole house all in one day. You can start with like just doing the dishes or just doing this or just doing that. And then when you're done with that, if you, you know, but this is more, this is such a business thing for you. They are really wanting you to take baby steps on this business path. So these, this business path, and I want to thank Mimi, um, one of my um, people, Mimi, sent me a thing from the SBA about grants that they're giving that the for um starting a business if you're already in a business um and if you go to the SBA small business association website they're called loans but you you don't have to pay them back um read the print you know in your own state to make sure but one of the things there's two things that there are a couple things that stop people from getting on track with their business. Number one, and I did a, a show on this. Number one, people think they have to have everything before they start, you know, and, and people go too big. They want to start their business and make it huge and big. And, and, and then number three, you think you need to know everything before you start or have a certain amount of money before you start. And that, and that is not at all true. You can start with just the knowing of what it is you want to go into and then take those steps. And if you don't know how to take the next step, look on YouTube, look on Google. There, are, 
there's a plethora of different ideas and ways to start any business whatsoever. So their biggest message to you today is get your booty in gear, get started. And they are, I want to say they're bringing you dreams. They're coming in your dreams about, and, and what they're bringing you in your dreams is also what you're supposed to be doing. Part of what you're supposed to be doing. It's um, so don't don't um, they just just get started. Just take that one step. Just figure it out. I feel like whatever you're going to be doing, it's going to be very good for you and very powerful, very very powerful for you. And you're going to have quite a bit of luck, and you're really going to enjoy it. Yes. I'm happy for that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, so I uh, thank you. Now the next time I talk with you, I hope we're talking about you've already started and you're <laughs> you're taking your next step. <laughs> and I'm I'm so happy that this was spot on for you. Thank you so much. You are welcome. Thank you for um, calling in. And until next time, um, get well, the, your your grandparents are just saying get busy. So I'll just leave it with get busy. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to go to 856 next. 856, how are you doing today? Good. Okay, so if I'm on speakerphone, take me off speakerphone. I don't. If the background noise um, will interfere with the audio on the shows. And how can I help you today? I want to recap. Pick up that's coming in positive and manifesting, and hopefully it's working the way I want it. So I'm not sure if I have to do it or they're gonna just show up. If that makes sense. In um, my business. So typically I have people ask a question um, on the show just because it's easier for the, sh the purposes of the show. But if you just want a random message, I'm not responsible for what they give you. Just so you know, random messages do not always come out the way people want them to. Because <laughs> that's their opportunity to tell you where you need to get in alignment with your life. They're like, so the random... What's your first name, love? Uh, Rosemaria. Rosemaria, where are you from? I've been for a long term. Where are you from? Long term relationship with marriage. If you want to get that engagement stuff with the person I'm thinking of, okay. that's going to happen. And, and it's my birthday this year. Well, happy birthday. Um, here's what I'm going to tell Thanks. you. Um, Ooh. What's the first name of the person um, that you are in a long-term relationship with? Uh, Ralph. I feel like that's not true, but okay. Rosemaria, what I'm going to tell you is... Well, I could call my different name, too. I use, but it's kind of... like, what the heck is that? <laughs> <laughs> I just have a flash of all the different names you call him when you're upset and when you're happy. So that's why I'm laughing so hard. Um, so what I'm going to tell you about you and this gentleman is um, this whole getting the engagement thing is he, uh, he, oh, I feel like he thinks if he does that, everything's going to change. He feels like almost like it would be taboo. It would like ruin things. Um, like you would feel like you have the upper hand. 
and that you would be able to take the control of the situation at that point. Um, I know that's ridiculous, right? But that's just personal, his personal feeling. This probably goes back to something in his childhood, the way he saw the dynamics of his parents. But he thinks as long as it's like this, um, everything is safe and it is um, everything is safe and he doesn't have to like, uh, 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 concede to you is the word that I'm getting. He doesn't have to concede, uh, and he can have the majority of still have the majority of the power. If that makes sense to you, I don't know, but he feels like once. He makes the situation uh, confirmed, like with a ring or a marriage or whatever, whatever that is, that next step for the two of you, that you will be the one that holds the power. And also, like, let's just say, for example, there's there's a ring. Let's just say, for example, there's a ring. Then all of a sudden, then there's like, when's the date? What we need to start planning. We need to this. We, and he's not he's not and this is this is really interesting and I'm so happy I get to answer this question he's not emotionally ready for that he's not he doesn't want things to change he doesn't like change and he doesn't want things to 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 change a lot and have those expectations and be moving in that direction very quickly he wants to be in a space where he is in control of the changes, the relationship, and how it moves. Not even how quickly it moves, but how it moves. He thinks if he keeps it this way, if something goes wrong, that, okay, well, he can A, fix it, or B, control it, or it wasn't, he can tell himself it wasn't that serious. Um, this is a person who has a definite fear of failing and does not want to, maybe doesn't, if I could say it another way or the way they want to say it to you is if he doesn't move forward, then he doesn't fail. As long as everything stays the way it is, there's no failure. It's just going and it's good. And why fix something that isn't broken sort of um, belief. So having said that, what I, I, I don't even, I, I want to give advice here. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what do you even say to something like that? But the, the best advice that's coming from spirit is to be patient and don't try to force his hand because this is definitely a person that likes to think that's a really important word there. This is definitely a person that likes to think they are in control of everything and they're the ones making the decision. So you have to allow him to think it was his choice to make this decision. If you start pushing on it, um, they will definitely, the more you try to push, the more they will back off. However, if you, and if you don't, it's not that if you don't bring it up, I think if you, okay, so what I'm getting, and perhaps you've done this in the past, but ask like, you know, what, if, I don't even know if that would work, but they're telling me to say it. So I'm going to, if we were to do this, how would that look to you? If we were to get married, how would that look to you or have that conversation? Like, you know, what's your biggest fear with marriage? This is my biggest fear with marriage. And sometimes if you can talk about the reasons why it hasn't happened, um, it can diffuse those reasons and you can move into a better space where it's actually moving forward 
instead of staying stagnant. And sometimes people just, I'm going to tell you, some people, they are, they, they just, you know, we all grow up in different circumstances, um, but most of us have not grown up in the healthiest relationships and we either don't want to repeat our parents' relationship or we don't want to repeat our past relationships. And the only way to get through that is sometimes to to have discussions about it. But he is definitely a person that cannot be pushed, that will not be pushed, um, and, and has to feel like this was his idea, his choice, and his decision when he was ready for it. Okay, love? So, yeah, is that communicate with me and not call me back or answer me. So, yeah, that's what, the, that's what he meant. What, what you want, when you want it, and how you want it, that's what he meant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By that, what you said. God. Yes. And, you know, <laughs> I'm going to tell you, if, if you push this person... It's like, what's that statement when you push a lion into a corner or some kind of wild animal into a corner? They're not going to, this, this, he, you cannot, you cannot, de, you cannot demand anything of, of him. Not only can you not demand anything of him, it's even difficult to request anything of him. You have to, again, let him think things are his idea. And you you have a very strong personality. You are a very strong presence or energy in and of yourself. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. But sometimes that intimidates men because they're afraid they're going to be... Um, bossed around for the rest of their life. Like you're going to take the reins. I'm not saying <laughs> you're going to be leading them around by their man parts. Okay. So <laughs> for whatever that means. Um, but I'm just saying that there is a fear here that you are going to I'm just going to say it the way they're saying it. He's afraid you're going to be too bossy for the rest of his life. And, you know, your personality, there's nothing wrong with it for you. And him, though, on the other hand, who is a person who likes to be in control and a person who likes to make the decisions and does not like change and has to believe that he's the one who was in charge of all the choices that might not fit very well together. So the two of you have to figure out a way to communicate that will help you move forward. Okay. And I'm, I'm just going to say this, if there's a time, a break or a time of silence, don't be the first person to reach out. Don't. Um, if somebody needs time to think or has backed off, let them have that time. But you need to also take that time and figure out what you want. And if it's working for you, are you getting everything you need and want out of this situation? And as women... We tend to get into a situation sometimes, and men do too, um, where we're in the situation and then we're, we, we think, well, I'm in it, so I have to see it through. But we're not looking at, am I getting what I need? Am I getting what I want? Is this situation fair to both of us? And sometimes you can just adore, you can absolutely love someone who might not be the best person for you. Um, and, and because you just adore this person or you love this person, or sometimes just because you have history with this person, you don't want to let go. You want to say, well, I don't, I, then I've wasted all of this time or we can make it work because at one time it worked or we can make it work because of, of a million different reasons that 
we come up with that we can make it work. But what at the bottom line is, what the absolute bottom line is, as the relationship sits, as you are in this relationship the way it is, is this what you can deal with for the rest of your life? Is this what you want for the rest of your life? And don't think you can change a full-grown person. Do not think if this is a full-grown man and he has reached his emotional and psychological maturity, do not think you are going to be wave your magic wand and change this person. Maybe a therapist can do it, but a lot of therapists can't even change people today because they are who they are and they like who they are and there is nothing wrong with who they are. It's a matter of does who they are match with who you are and does who they are match with what you need and want in your life? And if it doesn't, you can try. You can definitely give it a great effort to try to make that happen. But if that, if that cannot happen, then maybe it's time to start thinking about what else is available for you. Um, that will bring you joy and happiness and give you the commitment that you want. Because again, you can love and adore someone. You can absolutely be in love with them. But if you spend more time unhappy or complaining about the situation than you do thinking about how wonderful the person is, Houston, we got a problem. We got a huge situation and it needs to be fixed. So if you can't fix that and bring it back to a place of happy and adoration, like you can have love for someone, but complain about them. You have to get to that point where you're no longer complaining about that person or that situation or them not giving you what you want. Or you might have to think about what your next best step could be. And oftentimes, we don't think about moving on as an option because we're so determined to make whatever we're in work. And I, I always say you can make any relationship work. Just how much of the work are you willing to do compared to how much of the work the other person's doing and then the other statement that's coming to me right now is are you both working toward the same goal so you can be working on relationship a that looks like it's go you want it to go into a commitment and a marriage and they're working on relationship b where everything's fine where it is and i'm i'm i only want to work to make it where it is right now and if this tries to be pushed any further, well, nope, that's not happening. I'm going to I'm going to back away. I'm going to keep it right where it is because this is my comfort zone. This is my safety zone. And you're saying, well, my safety zone is a ring and a piece of paper. So you have to figure out if the two of you can come together on that and make that work, make what be working toward the same relationship, first of all. And second, if you can be working toward the same emotional and psychological goals together as a relationship. Whew, okay. Gosh, that was good channeling. I like that. For anybody listening, I think that was great, great information. Um, I hope that was really helpful for you. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you, everybody watching on YouTube Live. I love you guys so much. I will be back Wednesday at noon. Please join me then if you didn't get through today.